Okay, so we talked about simple interest in the other video. Now we're gonna look at compound interest. This is how most banks operate. Uh, they do compounding interest where you get to take the amount that either you invested or that you borrowed, uh, if you borrowed money from the bank, and they're going to add it on. Now they have different ways of, of figuring out when it's compounded. Some will do it monthly, some will do it every year. It all depends, so this ranges. For this, we're gonna just look at it as an investment that you have put $250 in, like a one-time investment, just like before, but we're gonna watch what happens when it does compound interest uh, every year, okay? So same information, so compound interest works where we're doing the same amount, we're still making a contribution of $250, okay? We are still having the same interest rate as before of 5%. And our term is still going to be, we're gonna do it for five years. I know I only did it for three before, so maybe you even wanted to say for three years for right now, okay? Um, and what that will look like when we do compound interest, okay? Remember again that we do need to figure out that this is actually 0.05 when we go to use it at, when we calculate our numbers, okay? So now in the first year, it's gonna start out similar to when we did the simple interest. We're gonna have $250 in there in the first year, okay? And then when we go like we did before and we times it by 0 0.05 to find out 5% of this number, we're going to set, start out and we're gonna have $12.50 in the bank account. When we add those two together, at the end of year one, you're going to have $262.52. Okay, it starts out the same as simple interest. So where it starts to compound is in year two. Okay, so in year two, now we, don't, we, we get to take the interest we made off of our first year, and we're gonna start, and that's gonna be our starting investment amount for the year now. Okay, because we get to make interest off of this instead of off of just that. That's the difference between simple and compound. Okay, so we're going to take our investment of $262.52 and we're going to figure out that again times the 5% interest. And when we calculate it out this time, we're going to get $13.13 .13 when we round up, when we round to the correct numbers. Okay. So now when we go and add it up, we're going to have $275 when we add um, these two amounts together, right? $275.63. Okay, so that's what we would have in our account at the end of year two. Now, if we went to year three, We'd be starting with this amount, because remember we get to make money off of our interest and what our investment was. So we do $275.63 as our starting amount for year three, and we get to make 5% interest off of that amount now, okay? Which is going to give us uh, $13.78 for our interest for the year, okay? And when we add this, when we add those numbers together, we, we should have two hundred and eighty nine dollars and forty one cents when everything's said and done. Okay, so at the end of that year, that's what will be left in our bank account. Okay, so if you remember back to simple interest, we were lower than that. It was two hundred and seventy five dollars or something. So you know, in the big picture of things, is it that much more? I mean, no, it's not. But look, at we're starting with a pretty low amount of 250, right? Saving $250 over the course of the year isn't a lot of money. You'd be putting a little over 20 bucks away every month, right? So that's not a lot. We, when we start to really see big savings with compound is when you are talking about a little bit bigger amounts and then you keep adding to it. And as you keep adding it, we're gonna see bigger and bigger amounts. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do one more video where we do compound interest and we show what happens when we're making annual contributions to our original investment. And then we'll see how things grow significantly more, okay? So that'll be in the next, in next video where we're making annual contributions.